Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Really short one today. These little screens, I've touched them a few times. 20 odd pounds from China. It bolts on so easy. Are they worth it and do they work? I suppose when I looked at them, it could be wider, but it really does, from your sitting position, stop the wind in your face. Stops that buffeting that you get and a lot of noise as well that you get from these is actually controlled by this. This little one here, 20 quid from China, four days to get here. Quality lump of Perspex, adjustable here and here, and an adjustment here and here. Build quality, it's okay. These feel a little bit tacky when you undo them. Ah, they feel like they pop up a little bit, but that's your adjustments for up and down. And here's your adjustment here for moving it. So now it's completely movable, so up and down and then these twist as well. So you can move it, it's got a good bit there, and it just simply Allen keys here onto it. And they're quite tight, to be honest with you. They came with little rubbers and a little like wedge block in there as well to put them on. All in, I'm actually quite impressed. Not a bad angle either. And I didn't think it would go on my big bike. But do you know what, it does. The way they're designed, they fold either way. So I'm gonna put it on here. It's nice having it on here. It is making a difference, but I think I'll get a lot more pleasure from having it on the big bike. Oddly, and I say that oddly, let's just adjust this while I'm chatting to you, because I've moved it now and there. You go, lock it in that way, and then that just locks in there. Oddly, I've purchased things from Chinese sellers on eBay in China, and I've got the first one like in four days. And I've ordered another one and they've not delivered it or it took two weeks. I think it's real luck of the draw. And I didn't want to buy two at the same time because it's a gas of rubbish. Not bad. Um, there's a lot more quality ones out there and I reckon I may look into one of them. I don't want to get a one obviously. But it's still a damn sight cheaper than getting a whole new screen. And I said it really does from your angle you're at here. It really does stop the wind in your face. I've been able to have my helmet open and get so much buffeting as well because I wear an open face helmet, which I do like wearing if I'm honest with you. But all in this little Bergman, it's good. Having this on is better. There's a jivvy screen that I think on this one comes right down here and guards your hand as well. Handlebar muffs. Uh, do I, do I not? <laughs> I mean, this originally had one of those um, leg sheets over it. I just can't do that just cannot do that. Now, you may notice I'm wearing my Booster T-shirt. Do you remember the little last video I did with Lexmoto, um, Daniel? Yeah, in that video he said to me, um, I am a dry weather rider. That was his statement, and I had a little jib at him. Fortunately, he was riding home the other week. Um, he said he locked the back wheel up, it was raining, off he come, bikes are right off. He, however, is okay, which is good news. No one likes to come off your bike. Unfortunately, I've not managed to come up and see Daniel yet. That is in my to-do list. But he did say he was okay. The bike is right off. So I'm not sure where he's gonna go next, where he's gonna get another one, get that one repaired. Who knows, but I wish him all the best. And there you go. Real short one about the screen. Do you know what I think? I've not done it right now. It looks a bit cute with. But they did go on easy. You get a little box, you get everything you need in there, nice and cheap. I was worried it flew off, you know, but 20 quid, it's not bad. Planes. But once Thomas Cook went down, you wouldn't have him going over in 10 seconds. Now it's 20 seconds, so it's a little bit longer. Yay me. So as I said, did keep the wind off. Now, I like to say kit, okay, when it comes in the kit. But this kit, I've been a bit generous with. It comes with three Allen keys that you don't actually need the two. It's just the one. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my Ducati today because I'm going to ride it because the sun's out. Yay! It's going to rain about 9 o'clock tonight, I'll be home by then. Now it really is that simple, this little hand key, just to undo these four very, very tiny Allen screws. And this is what I think I like about these. When you look at them first, you don't think or can envisage how it's going to fit on a totally different screen. So, it is off that simple. And the size of that screen, be able to fit on this screen. Now, a bit of wiggling around here. One there, one there. 
and a little bit of adjustment and look at that. I think it's quite amazing, I know it's something simple, but just how it fits on every single screen. And I said I couldn't envisage that. If anything, do you know what? I think this looks better on here than it does the Bergman. And I'm just saying it's a much better looking bike. I just actually think it does. Now I know I said this glass in the other, other video, but it is plastic obviously. Um, and actually, it's not far off the same density or thickness as this screen. And it's just as simple as tightening it back up again, and I would make sure it's nice and tight. But obviously being a bit cheap, I am worried that it will thread them. And that's the last thing you'd want. If you thread these little bolts, it's a throwaway, isn't it? Because it won't stick on. But then again, you don't want it too loose. Otherwise, it's gonna fly off, which is defeating the object. Look at that, that's nice. And you know what? I don't even have to adjust that at all. The airflow comes through here still. So I may end up angling it a little bit differently, but I'm gonna have a go at that and see what that does. Just to take the buffeting off of my head, basically. Now, winter gear. For some time now, I've had my old BKS faithfuls, and I still wear them on the Bergman, because you know what? They are still decent thermal winter wear. Little bit dampness comes through here now, so you can get that cheap spray, can't you? But generally, it's not bad, and I'm still impressed with it. Even though some of the buttons up the top here broke, and I've got Velcro now. And as for my old Jivy helmet, well, four years now, that's still stiff, funny enough. But you know what, it's still a decent helmet, if not a bit noisy, because I think they all are, you know? Good enough screen, don't hear it. But when you open face, I love having an open face helmet, I really do. With a flip front business, I can knock it down, knock it up again. It is just great. And the visor on this one, I said before, it's really, really good, and that's why I like this one. But I have upgraded. Since buying the uh, Ducati, I thought I'd treat myself. Now, this is a flip front Premier, um, 240 pound. It's got this little bit that buffers a little bit of noise. It's got the flip front, which is great. And the screen for the eyes, which is here, is not brilliant. It's not as dark, but it still stops the full beam of the sun in your eyes. Nice and snug but you do get a little bit of noise from it, and that's why I'm having that little bit of buffiness from the bike when it had no screen. I'm hoping that little extra bit will stop the buffeting. What do I think of these? 240 pound, that's more than the Jivy. I couldn't buy another Jivy. I thought I had it four years, I don't want to stick with the same brand. What do I think of them? Worth a go. <clears throat> this is the top of the range from these. The cheap one's about 180 pounds, um, and they, I don't know where you're getting from. I got them from my local um, shop in Braintree. So, but it's not bad, Matt. Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. We'll have to see. It doesn't leak though. And as for my winter gear, I have gone RST bottoms this year. Very stiff, but I do like the Velcro on the bottom. Much bigger to get the boots in. I found this is quite tight. I mean, I'm not a huge lad with my legs, but I find that a lot of the bottoms you get when you try and do zips up are very tight. These are really big and you nicely fit them over, but doesn't catch. Because I understand why they do it, you don't want to catch your pedal when you're putting your foot down because you're going to come off. It's nice and weathery, let's say that. And the waterproof got caught in the rain straight away with them. And I've got the top here. Now, I actually really like the grey. Um, the reason being, I think it matches the white bike. But, and I know they're going to get dirty. I've had that white RST one um, for a very long time now. It's not waterproof at all anymore. I know you can get the sprays, as I said before. But this is what I've gone for this year. And uh, again, I think the whole lot was 400 quid. Um, it's a lot of money, isn't it? But you get what you pay for. Normally, RST are reasonably priced. Uh, I know some guys go in, like I spoke to the guy at the shop, and he said some people just walk in and go, I want that one and that one, that's the best, two grand. I mean, no, that's not me. I'm not cheap and nasty. I'm not gonna get the uh, Audi specials, although they're still brilliant. I just thought I'd try this this year. So this is what I'll be riding to work with today in the sun. But I intend to, when I ride my big bike, to ride this, and I intend to use the old one with the Bergman. But mainly because you're actually quite sheltered with Bergman, you don't get so wet, but you really do get the weather on other bikes. Right, bought some more goodies the wife doesn't know about. I always know what you buy. Shh. In the last video, I left her in there. Bit of antifreeze. 
an evil go in here. I'm going to try that a little bit in the old Bergman. Um, just it hasn't probably been done, it's injection. Right, put these in here. Let's put these in here. Look at that. That means you can come out now. <laughs> Do it again, you're back in the cupboard. <laughs> And there we go. Right, quickly back to the RST. I thought I'd explain. It's got nice little braces that go over the top. They are very stiff because they're very new, but they're so well padded in here. And um, there's another line you can take out. There's knee pads in here. I do like the fact it's got zips down the side here if you want to put the old money for petrol station. I mean, I often leave a fiver in them just in case. You know, you get the petrol station find out you haven't got any money. It's got zips both at the top here, They're very heavy. And this is what I said about the boots. My boots nicely go in here, and these zip nicely and velcro over. And there's, they're not tight, you know? Which reminds me about the old BKs. As for the top, now they are RST Pro Series bottoms. They came on the same shelf as these. I think the proper ones you get with these are the same color, but I went for this sort of line. This jacket, is really really good it comes with this little bit that i don't need and it basically goes over there and really buttons down for the uh the heavy winter um but i don't particularly need that or like it and it's a lot more zips again it is very nice very heavy you know holding up there um velcro here you've got these little bit of waterproof thingies in here again that nicely put on your arm and a huge plethora of zips and buttons to make it tighter straps here under here you've got some very nice zips that fold over and they're waterproof zip here again um, other pockets side pockets again and there's the back of it and these are venting now like all of them you can take the inner lining away i'm only going to use this for the winter i'm not going to use it as a summer jacket but it is waterproof i did get caught on it the other day and you know what that was really really good but i say i feel very restricted in it at present minute I mean that's four years old and that's quite loose this was very like I can't get my keys you know um, that's why I didn't want to put the old snood I don't know what to call that the other little oh, hello the other little bit to it and it all velcros nicely together so I just thought I'd give you another view of it that's all because often I just blab about things um, and don't really go into much depth these are vents but also you can use with pockets I don't know, I suppose we just vents. Someone's going to probably tell me that they are any vents because they're vented that way. But I do like the fact also you've got inside for your phone and this side for your wallet and stuff. I must admit, I always put it here, but it can get a bit cramped up. So I suppose it's much better I do doing it that way. Anyway, back to the video. Now the other day I mentioned about taking this off of here. I rode to work the next day with this. Wow, did I realise how noisy it is. And I mean, the wind now comes banging against my helmet and it is really noisy. Um, Cause I could hear the engine noise and I kept thinking, why it sound a bit more beefier? It didn't, it's just that normally the wind's gushing against me and I couldn't hear it. So actually I'm gonna buy another one. It really, really was good on here, I've got to say. And I've put it on here now. That makes an incredible difference on here as well. So, 20 odd quid from China. A must buy if you ask me. You do notice a lot more. And with the new helmet, this premier new helmet, they are noisy. I've got to say, people often ask me are they noisy. The GV, these ones, without a good wind protection on the screen, they are. You do get the blowing noises in there. I don't like using earplugs. Some people put music on. As for helmet, you know what? It's not bad. This does wobble a little bit. And what I found is that the drips will drip on here and then bigger splodges come on here. But you've got your vent here, vent on top to air it out, a vent at the back as well. I do like the fact that it's got the old safety buckle, I think they call these ones. And as I said, this this little um, bit here, it's not, I think I can get it in the sun there, there you go. It's not as good 
as the jivvy because that really is very dark but it's all this what you can't have tinted nowadays well i'd rather have a tinted bloody screen than the sun in my eyes that i can't sod in see and it really bugs me people preaching to you police and what have you safety people that you can't have them on i mean what would you rather be able to see or not see not stupid enough to have this down when it's dark outside but of course if you put a tinted visor on they'll pull you over won't they you've got to have it up and it's blowing in your eyes doesn't make sense when safety snowflakes start causing more problems. Rant of the day. Anyway, I'm liking this. And I have to say, the fluorescent of the jacket and the fluorescent on here actually looks quite good. I've had a few comments on that so far. Saying it looks quite good than just all black. And I'm a lovely Ducati. I was actually looking at getting another exhaust. I'm not even going to say don't tell her because you're going to get a voice from somewhere. But I was, and I keep thinking about an exhaust on my Ducati. Come off subject, haven't I? <laughs> Back to the main video. Enough. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Um, my last couple of videos. Okay. There's just no bikes out there at the present minute for me to revise. There's no bikes out there for me to review or buy. I'm finding it very difficult to get a good bargain nowadays. Which you should be doing in this weather. If anybody paid too much for their bikes and they still want a load for them, who knows? Stop chatting. Take care of yourself. So let's get these in here. No, just an arm. Go on, there you go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>